Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Shudwani once again from learn-animation.com. In this video, I will be talking about how you can enable screenshots, videos and the trace file in Playwright. Trust me, you will be amazed by this feature because Playwright provides these features on the fly. You don't need to write even a single code to uh, enable the screenshots or the videos or trace file. Okay, there's a dedicated methods also available which I will show you how you can capture the screenshot of a page or of a specific web element that is also available that we will use in the different video but in this video just three configurations you have to change actually three properties you have to add and you can start capturing the screenshots videos and the trace files so let me show you in order to do this just you have to uh, navigate to this playwright.config.js file right now other browsers i have commented so if you see i don't have any other browsers i'm only using chromium so now if I just type here, put a comma so that you can add a next property, just search or type screenshot. Okay, colon. Now put double quotes. Now it is giving you two options off on and only on failure. So I will make it on. It means I want the screenshot. By default, it is set to off. Second thing which I need, I need the videos. So I will just say video and I will just, just type video here, colon. And again, we have multiple options of on uh, on first retry, retain on failure, retry with video. I will make it on for each and everything. Similarly, the most interesting part is the trace file. So I will just type trace and let me again add trace is on. So three things screenshot on video on trace on nothing else. Now. Since we are making change in the configuration file, it will be reflected in each and every spec file that we have created. So it will be applicable for all these things. So instead of running a specific spec file, let me run all of this. And uh, once the test will get executed, we'll see the report. So total nine tests executed using four workers. It's running all of this. So yeah, once the test is successful, you can see it captured the screenshot trace and everything and we'll get the report now okay so all the tests executed and it started the report automatically so let's go ahead and see you can see four spec files so we have the result for all the spec file so let's open the first one verify application title here you can see this test has been failed the moment I click on this it says it is not able to find this okay because I was using Google and I was looking for this label search so it could not find and it says it is not able to type you can see it is not able to search waiting for selector this is not important the main important part is this part it captured the screenshot automatically it has added into the report as well along with that if you see we have a video so how the test executed you will find the complete video and the most interesting part is this trace i love this feature of playwright uh, it will give you the complete trace what happened each and each and every step and i will show you with the different trace because here we just have four steps uh, but i will show you one another test where we have a lengthy trace so go back this is the one which is a verifier message okay here also in the last uh, tutorial i made this uh, mistake purposefully so that I can show you the report failure report see open image in a new tab what is the error message invalid credentials right and what we were expecting invalid credential so actual message is credentials but here what we have given uh, for equal to triple equal to is credentials so obviously it will fail and again same thing you will find a video if you just go ahead and see this video you'll find the video and with the proper message same thing and this is what I want to show you this test executed successfully because we have done proper login logout here screenshot is fine video is fine now come back to the trace the moment you click on this trace you can see first of all what exactly happened okay at what step and you can see the complete trace right it did the login, it did the logout, it clicked on this. and So this is the complete trace that you're getting. 
at each and every step also you will find that this action got executed this was the call this is the source source it is not showing because right now this is just a page network call console nothing is there then it opened this particular url okay console find network this is all api call internally it made and all is 200 so we are getting success and this is the source like it is hitting this particular step is executed by this particular statement same thing this is for username now notice here guys see one by one maybe i will open this pen here so that i can show you this particular step right which is finding the username so it is showing this is the highlighted part if you see the source it is coming from this and if you click on before before is this after is this can you see before and after it means it did the type after you executed this command so before after is very very important because in case if you want to debug maybe your test got failed and you want to check what happened with your test why it is failing you can easily uh, check this trace file and you can easily identify what went wrong same goes with this right this is your before before doing this after typing password this is the source code same thing this will click and this is actually it's clicking here right it's not loading yet properly if you go to the logout before and after and finally this is the ex uh, expect that we have added right for url based assertion very important and step by step we're showing this is what exactly happened at one second two seconds three seconds four the actual thing started from this step okay six second and yeah if you just scroll one by one you will be able to see what exactly happened see this is exactly we did uh logout part right so come back here you see it clicked on it and you are able to see the logout part and after this logout happened and finally we got the main page yeah. so please try this from your side uh, no coding involved just change this configuration file and you will get everything this is only for chromium but same thing you can do for other browsers as well again playwright also provide you a dedicated method where you can capture the screenshot of a web element of a particular page also that also i will show you but in the next video but here if you want to see uh, just go to playwright official website and just search for screenshot you just need to call a method called screenshot and you can go the path and you can also give one additional option called full page to true so it will capture the screenshot of a complete page you can capture the screenshot of a particular web element as well so first you will find that element then you will call screenshot and you can provide the path okay you can capture into buffer also so rather than writing into a file you can get into the buffer and depends on the requirement if you want to add into the you know report part or maybe you have created a custom reporter there you want to use it or maybe you have some other reporting where you want to use the screenshot you can get it easily into the buffer process into a string or any other format and you can use it yeah so that's all about this video i hope this video helped you if yes then do support this channel share with your friends colleagues subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care